My name is Hermione and I'm here at the Eureka Centre Ballarat. The Eureka Centre is a museum that tells the story of the Eureka Stockade in 1854. But a museum doesn't have to be in a building. And here I am with Museum in a Box. Today I'm going to show you some objects and what that can tell us about the stories of the people who might have used them. Each of these objects, or something like this, might have belonged to someone who was really important in the Eureka Stockade story. Today I'm going to talk to you about the object and I want you to have a guess based on the people that you have in front of you. Who might have owned this object? This object is made of leather. It has stitches around the outside and a strap on the back. It has a button that keeps it closed. It opens out and you can maybe put something inside. What do you think this object might be? This object is called a cat pouch. A cat pouch was used for those people who were firing a gun. You used to have to keep the gunpowder dry and so twists of paper with gunpowder would be put inside and then this would be placed on your belt. Who do you think might have used this object? This object might have been used by Henry Wise. Henry Wise was a captain of the militia and he came up from Geelong when the Ballarat miners started causing trouble in Ballarat. He was the first person to charge the stockade and he was actually shot in the leg. Apparently when he fell down, he kept yelling at his soldiers to keep charging forward. Henry Wise would have used something just like this. This object is made of silver. If I push this up, something comes out of the top and I can unscrew the bottom and place something inside. What do you think this object might be? is a silver mechanical pencil. They used to put pieces of lead inside the end and you would push it up and use it to write or sketch with. The good thing about the end being pushed down is it protected the lead from damage. It could then fit in a pocket or a bag and you would always be able to use it to write. Who do you think might have used this object? Henry Charles Ross would have used something just like this pencil. Henry Charles Ross was a Canadian miner who came over to Ballarat, but he was always sketching. And one story says that he might have been the one who drew the design for the Eureka flag. He would have used something just like this to draw that. This object is made of wood. It has a leather strap for your hand and you hold onto it just like that. What do you think it is? This object is called a truncheon. A truncheon was used by police officers. They used to put their hand in here and hold it like this and hit people over the head. Which person do you think might have used the truncheon? Here is a very small object. This object is made of wood. It has small indentations or little holes in the top 
and a larger hole at the bottom. It goes on my finger like this. What do you think this object might be? This object is a thimble. Do you know what a thimble is? A thimble is something that protects your fingers when you're sewing. The needle pushes and hits the thimble instead of your finger, so it protects you from the needle. Who do you think this object might have belonged to? Anastasia Hayes would have definitely have had a thimble very similar to this. Most thimbles in this period were made of silver, but they were very, very expensive. So if you didn't have as much money, you might have one made of wood or brass. The problem is, is that wood uh, gets damaged very easily or they just tended to get thrown away. So there's not very many of these left. Anastasia Hayes was a school teacher, but oral histories passed through family members all the way down have suggested that she might have been one of the women who sewed the flag. Thank you for having a look at some of the objects at my museum in a box. You can see some other objects here. Maybe you can make a museum in a box in your class and bring important items that represent each of you and put them in a box to tell people who come into your classroom a little bit about yourselves. <laughs>